Hey, this is Ian here in the camp, and I am also known as the nerd here, Camp Nerd. And I want to thank everybody for coming back watching another tutorial. This is going to be a quick, simple tutorial, and it's going to be based off the uh, material design themes of what we did in the last tutorial. And this time, it is going to be using the cards. Now, within these cards, you can have the ability to put several different, uh, what should we call it, like contents, uh, words, things like that in it. And what we're going to be doing is the card section. And if you have not uh, been able to put in the material theme, watch the previous video, material design themes in WPF and C Sharp, and that'll get you up to speed. So where we are at right now, is doing this card and we're going to do it all by code as far as in the designer instead of dragging and dropping so in this grid what you want to do is you want to bring up your material design uh well hang on i think i spelt it wrong uh material design There we go. And for this, we are going to put a card. And then we are going to put a vertical alignment of center and a horizontal alignment of center. And then we are going to put the uh, material design. And this is going to be the shadow assist. And then it's going to be shadow depth. And there's six different settings you can use. I'm going to use depth five, which is the highest. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to close that out. And uh, within those, the material design card tags, there we're going to put a stack panel. And in this stack panel, we are going to put an orientation of uh, vertical or horizontal. We're going to do horizontal, and we're going to do a margarine of 16. And as you see, it kind of comes up to where you can see that. All right, now within the stack panel, we are going to do a material design, and this is going to be a pack icon, and it is going to be a kind of, we're just going to do notifications. There's literally hundreds of icons that you can use for this, and then we're just going to put the height as uh, 64, and then we're going to put the width of 64 and then what we're going to do with that is we're just going to close it off and you can see that the notification bell comes up there in the uh, card so now we want to put a text block and then within this text block we're going to put a margarine of 16, 16, 0, 0. You can change the margins if you would want. Uh, you can also put this as 16 and put that as 0. It just depends on how you want to do the margins. All right, and then we're going to have the text wrap. Text wrapping is going to be wrap. And then on here, you can do uh, your font size. We're going to do a font size of 14. Oh, let's do 16. Okay, so now what we have here is what we're going to put. And this is how you use a card with the WPF material 
design thing. Like so. And then also if you wanted to get more uh, of having it centered, you can put a vertical alignment of center as well as a horizontal uh, or horizontal alignment and put that as center as well and you notice that it is centered from there. So now if we run it, you will see that you have a card with the back shadow back behind the card and if you like this tutorial be sure to like it if you got any questions leave them in the uh, comment section below and I'll be sure to answer them I try to answer all calls uh, well not calls my cell phone was just ringing while I was doing this I try to answer all questions that are given and also if you would like to join the camp nerd family be sure to hit the subscribe button and if you uh, like the videos like it and turn on the notifications after you subscribe to get more really cool tutorials like this and as I said before this is Ian with Camp Nerd, and as always, keep it nerdy in the camp. All right, guys, I'll see y'all in the next tutorials.